The thing is, when they tell you about Christ, heaven, and getting saved, you're excited and get saved. But one of the things that you're not told is that there's a package of suffering that has been appointed to you when you come to Christ. Most preachers will not tell you. They will tell you that it's rosy, that you can prosper, keep sowing seed for prosperity. You have a lot of money. Things will be easier. But uh, after a while, after you got saved, you find out that you're facing a lot of challenges and you don't know why. Let me read Philippians chapter 1, verse 29. <laughs> this we uh, encourage you. He said, For unto you it has been given, for on behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. So it was given to you on behalf of Christ, not only to believe on Jesus, but to suffer for his sake. When you look at that word suffer, the Greek word is pasho, pasho, to suffer. It means to be, uh, to feel pain, to experience a sensation or impression. It means to feel pain, to be vexed. You know, to go through tribulation, to go through pains. You might be wondering, is it worth it, believing on Jesus? Why do I need to go through all this pain? Why can't he just make it easy? Uh, you look at your life right now, you face one challenge or the other. Remember, as a Christian, it has been appointed to you to suffer, to be persecuted, to go through challenges. But look at what Romans chapter 8, verse 18 says. It says, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the Glory, we shall be revealed. Now, I love that. So use that to encourage you yourself. He said, I reckon, that's Apostle Paul. He said, I reckon that the suffering of this present time, so this present time on the earth is for suffering. You know, say the present time suffering for you believer, a Christian, it's not worth it to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in yours. That glory, when it's being revealed to you, when you check out of this earth or when Christ comes, oh my goodness, you're going to forget about all this suffering. So don't be envious of the wicked people. Don't be envious of those who are wicked and, uh, you know, are using evils to, to prosper or to, you know, to enjoy. Look at the story of Lazarus and the rich man in Luke chapter 16, verse 19 to 31. Lazarus suffered. The rich man enjoyed. He enjoyed wealth. He enjoyed his wealth. But at the end, Lazarus was comforted in the bosom of Abraham. But rich man could not even have water to drink. Was even begging Lazarus to dip uh, his finger into his tip of water to cool his tongue. Understand that your suffering right now is not worthy to be compared to the glory that will be revealed in your in you. See, some of us are forsaking many things just to follow Jesus, and we're looking ahead that there's so much glory that will be revealed in us. So be encouraged. Stay in Christ no matter what. Stand your ground. Be encouraged because you are going to be rewarded. And you will forget about this.